Welcome to E3 Rehab. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your knee flexion range of motion following an injury or surgery. To start, let's review two ways to self-assess your knee flexion range of motion. Option one, line your back and bring the heel to butt as far as comfortable. Use your hands or another object to provide overpressure if needed. When looking from the side, measure how much your knee bends compared to the uninvolved side. An easy way to do this is looking at the distance from your heel to your butt. Option two, start on hands and knees and rock your butt back towards your heels. Again, from a side view, measure how much your knee bends compared to the uninvolved side or how close you get your butt to your heel. Normal knee flexion is being able to bring the heel to butt or very close to it. This is about 135 degrees. Following most surgeries, you should aim to restore full knee flexion range of motion, so the same amount as your uninvolved side. For example, if you are recovering from an ACL or meniscus surgery, regaining full knee flexion range of motion is a realistic goal. However, there are some surgeries, such as a total knee replacement, where achieving full knee flexion range of motion may be more challenging. An easy starting point for introducing knee flexion is using a stationary bike. Start with the seat at a higher level. At first, you may only do partial revolutions, moving the knee in and out of as much flexion as tolerable. As range of motion improves, you can progress by completing full revolutions. And then finally, over time, slowly lower the seat down to expose the knee to more flexion. Do this for five to 10 minutes, two to three times a day, every day, or with intolerance. If you do not have access to a bike, Another starting option is heel slides. Using a slider on carpet or a towel or sock on hardwood, actively slide your heel towards your butt, bending the knee. If your range of motion is improving and you need to progress, place a towel or strap around the ankle or foot to help pull the knee into more flexion. Do this for 10 to 15 repetitions, two to three times a day, every day, or with intolerance. A slightly more advanced option is a kneeling progression. In addition to improving knee flexion, these can be helpful for desensitizing the knee to a kneeling position. Start with quadruped rockbacks, rocking your butt back to your heels as far as tolerable. Progress to a tall kneeling rockback, where you will transition from a tall kneeling position to a low kneeling position. And finally, to a half kneeling rockback, which will bias one knee. Start in a half kneeling position and sit your butt back towards your heel as low as tolerable. Two recommendations for making these more comfortable. First, place a pad or pillow under the knee. And second, a small towel behind the knee may make the bottom position more tolerable and allow you to move into more flexion. For either of these, perform for 10 to 15 repetitions, one to two times a day, every day. And finally, a more advanced option is a squat progression, which will place more weight and load through the knee. Start with an assisted squat using a TRX, squat rack, or even a door frame. Squat as low as you can comfortably, bringing your butt towards your heels. To progress, you can perform a heel elevated squat. Prop your heels on an elevated surface and squat down, trying to move the knee into as much flexion as comfortable. For either of these, perform for six to 10 repetitions as needed. All of these place an emphasis on improving knee flexion range of motion, with the hip inflection. But another consideration is working on knee flexion with the hip in neutral or an extended position. Two options. First, a dynamic couch stretch progression. While kneeling, elevate your back foot, squeeze your glutes and tuck your tailbone, and rock your butt back towards your heel. Slowly move in and out of this position. To progress, perform the same movement, but lift your arms overhead. For these, perform for 10 to 15 repetitions as needed. And two, if you cannot tolerate kneeling, another option is the rear foot elevated split squat with emphasis on knee flexion of the back leg. Elevate your back foot, and as you lower it down, think about sitting your butt back towards your heel. Perform for six to 10 repetitions as needed. When performing exercises for improving knee flexion range of motion, here are a few recommendations. Keep pain tolerable during exercise. While there might be some discomfort in the knee joint, it should not be the goal. Exercises should not lead to an increase in knee swelling or an exacerbation in symptoms. 
And progress is tolerable. Progress may vary based on surgery, precautions, previous range of motion, etc. Okay, let's review. It is recommended you aim to regain full knee flexion range of motion after an injury or surgery, if possible, by touching your heel to your butt or getting very close to it. Early on, you can use a stationary bike for five to 10 minutes or perform heel slides for 10 to 15 repetitions. Do these often, so two to three times a day, every day, or as tolerable. As your range of motion improves, you may also consider advanced options such as kneeling and or squatting progressions. Another consideration is performing knee flexion exercises with the hip in an extended or neutral position, such as the dynamic couch stretch or a rear foot elevated split squat with an emphasis on the back leg. And finally, more is not always better. Move within a comfortable range and progress as tolerated. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you have any questions or suggestions for future content, just drop those below in the comments. Until next time.